Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday 13 September 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Martin Zuakinu writes that new impetus is needed if South Africa is to begin meeting its R&D investment goals. In the drive for economic advancement and global competitiveness, innovation stands as a pivotal force, with the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development highlighting that a modest single percentage point increase in research and development spend can potentially elevate economic growth by about 0.13%. The engineering news features focus on aerospace, where Africa's largest aerospace and defense exhibition is set to showcase the latest industry innovations. Municipal infrastructure and services, where an agency refines its project implementation processes. And the South African Institute of Welding, which is set to open a nuclear school of excellence. The Mining Weekly features focus on pumps, where a solutions provider delivers dependable dewatering solutions for open pit mines. Exploration, where a developer bolsters exploration for growth. And a preview of Mine Expo International, where the event is set to showcase innovation, workforce development and industry collaboration. This week's business leader is Christopher Patterson, the MD of Associated Energy Services. And as this week's cartoon shows, extortion rackets are in the news, but construction sites have for too long been especially vulnerable to so-called business forums, which greedily distort localization policies. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.